Hey everybody, it's Sean Astin here, Bob Newby, superhero from Stranger Things. Just gonna look at a few tweets about old Bob. Rewatching Stranger Things 2, and I be tearing up every time Bob is on screen, like I know what's about to happen to my man, and I don't think I can bear it again. Bob, my beloved, I am sorry. I know how you feel. Season one, Barbara, Barb. Season two, Bob. Season three, Billy. Spoiler alert, I haven't watched season three yet. What's wrong with B? Bob dying broke my heart so bad, I didn't watch season three for an entire year. I started contemplating life and having an existential crisis. I fell to my knees, clutched my chest, and I couldn't breathe. Every time Stranger Things came up on Netflix, I was haunted by the memory of his death. You're welcome. The character I relate to most from Stranger Things is Bob. A little ditzy, never really knows what's going on, but does laugh at everyone's jokes. Bob knows what's going on. I think it, Bob, he, he gets into a tunnel, right, which he finds, and then he extracts Hopper from ooze, doesn't ask any questions, hi, hi, right? Then they go in, then he leads the, he doesn't ask questions. The thing about Bob is very intuitive. Watching Stranger Things season two for the second time, I still don't trust Bob Newby. My dream man is Bob from Stranger Things. Oh, Shantae, <laughs> I am taken, but um, thank you. Stranger Things, Bob Newby will always be a superhero. Sad faces. Here's the thing. The sentiment is he's gonna live forever as a superhero. So why the sad faces? It should be, he's gonna live forever as a superhero. Right on! If it's Bob's mortal and has died and won't come back in seasons three, four, five, and whatever, then it could be like sad face. That was, I'm not editing, I'm just, and that's just my instinct about my own. Uh, my favorite character is Bob from Stranger Things 2. I hope he comes out okay. <sighs> that Bob guy from Stranger Thing is so hot, I'm sorry. You do not have to apologize for that, that Bob guy is hot.